if you're watching this, um, the hope is that you already know how to get to this point, to get this particular table. These are your outputs from your model, your predictive model that you made, which is in this case, multiple linear regression. So how do you get this into your Word document so it looks nice? Well, the first thing, I caution you to be careful to look at where to round, but it looks like I, I, if I have at least three digits, I'll have enough information. So this is gonna be expanded with a lot of decimal places. I don't want that many decimal places. It won't fit on your Word file. So I'm gonna highlight this area here. Let me highlight this area here. And the first thing I'm gonna go to is I'm gonna click my home, go to format, go to format cells, click number, and ask it to not go more than three decimal places. And that rounds it, and it makes it a lot more um, possible for you to put this copy and paste and put this into your Word document. Now click Control C, and then go to your Word document, which is this blank one. Now, I have a blank one here to set up for you, and hit Control V or paste, or you can just go up here and go paste. So now you have all the information for this model. This particular model that I did uh, was made for um, predicting with age, weight, uh, other pull-ups, push-ups, and sit-ups to predict the two-mile run time during cadet basic training. The multiple R square, the multiple R square is up here. It's 0.27. Looks okay. Adjusted R square doesn't look good. It, it, this is not a good model. However, here's what you can do. Um, first of all, you want to make everything fit. This thing doesn't fit, so you can scoot it over a little bit over to the left, um, right here. And you can look at, you can take out your formula. That's the first thing you'll need is to take out your formula. The formula that you have is right here. These are the coefficients of your formula. These things are p-values. They tell you whether they're important enough to include in a formula. They tell you whether they're statistically significant. And although my overall adjusted R-square is low, these tell me that every single term had a p-value that was pretty low. It was below 0 0.05. That means all these coefficients are important. All these terms are important. All right, so um, you're going to learn more about that in 206. I kind of feel bad telling you that this is not, the, this is not important right now to dwell on. What am I predicting? I am predicting in my particular model, I'm predicting the run time, the two mile run time. And the formula for that is going to be, um, if I start with the very last one, I have a negative coefficient here with the number of sit-ups. So I'm gonna type in here this, and don't put the asterisk, just put sit-ups like that and then here I'm going to put negative this copy paste and that's push-ups and this is going to be the initial weight in pounds because of my data if I go back and look at it, it was in pounds this one was in inches, I believe. Um, we'll go back and look at it. That's height plus this number times age plus two for, I can, I can just copy and paste that. Intercept is just what's left over that it's not a coefficient of anything or it's a coefficient of the number one. You can think of it that way. So there's my model. That's a formula. So if somebody, if I know someone's sit-ups, push-ups, weight, height, age, plus this number, I can predict their two-mile runtime with this formula. That's what I have. Now it's not what that number up here, the uh, multiple R square and the adjusted R square tell me. And the R square tells me it's not that good of a model, but it is a model. It's a formula. It's not terrible. So the next step uh, for this is going to be. How do you get this model to give you the predicted values in Excel next to your actual value, values? So I'm going to show you that next. So this is just how to get your regression statistics onto your Word file and to extract from that your formula.